My name is Rodney Masters. I am the President and Chief Operating Officer of Ames International. Ames International was founded in 1982. I purchased the company from the prior owner in 1987. We have some very good people here at Ames International. I have surrounded myself with people that are better at work than I am. We have Michael Smith, who is Vice President of Top Size Operations. We have Bill Griffith, who is Vice President of Subsea Operations. Kenton Lawler is Vice President of Product Development. Ames International is a service company primarily directed at the offshore oil and gas industry. We are a worldwide organization. Anywhere where you have offshore oil and gas, you will find Ames International. Ames International's business model is that we partner with local companies in countries like Trinidad, Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, Australia, Indonesia, anywhere there's offshore oil and gas, even in West Africa. And we provide the services in those countries offshore, the same as we do here in the Gulf of Mexico. I'm Kenton Lawler, VP Business and Product Development for Ames International. AIMS is actively taking their talent profile of their existing FRP engineering and structural engineering and mechanical engineering and applying it to new markets. Vacuum infusion products, light subsea intervention components to expand our subsea industries. With our ongoing effort to grow our business, not just with new product development and getting into additional markets with new products with our existing technology and experience and professionalism, we're also actively engaged in acquisition, finding companies that complement our existing structure to help us grow. Behind me is a fiberglass bridge. This is a five foot wide by 60 foot long fiberglass bridge for the state of Delaware, for the uh, state parks in Delaware. We do a lot of fiberglass bridges. Why would somebody want to use a fiberglass bridge? Well, these trails that these bridges traverse a ravine or a river or whatever, they have to be handled manually from long distances away. So the lighter the components, the easier it is to transport through these long distances and erect on site. Steel would be too heavy. Wood, it rots. Fiberglass lasts forever. Once this bridge is assembled on site in the state of Delaware Park, it will be there forever. Why fiberglass? Fiberglass is a corrosion resistant and maintenance free material. It simply does not rust. Steel structures, especially in the offshore industry, they have a life of maybe five to seven years maximum. Steel gratings down on the waterline have a maximum life of three to four years, wherein they would have to replace the steel gratings. Fiberglass grating does cost more than steel grating. However, the first time you pull maintenance on steel grating, you've paid for the fiberglass. Once fiberglass is properly installed, you forget about it. It's there. It's maintenance-free, corrosion-resistant. One other uh, aspect of our business is that we just recently acquired a company called Delta Composites. They are an onshore fiberglass fabrication company. So we have merged Ames and Delta into one company and are now serving the industries both onshore and offshore as Ames International. Delta has the same capabilities as Ames, providing its own engineering, its own fabrication, and installation services. Because of the acquisition, we have consolidated both companies into one. It's been a very positive move for both companies. Ames also has developed the lowest drag and most VIV suppression efficient fairing in the industry. Our drag coefficient, a term called C sub D, is in the 0.4 to 0.45 range. Our competitors are lucky if they can get below 0.6. Ames is definitely the leader in the VIV suppression industry. Ames enjoys great relationship with our clients. They return, and they return because we provide first-class customer service. We respond promptly. 
We solve problems and we get it done. We don't complain about it. When Ames International arrives on site at your facility, our crew will engage in nothing but short of professional behavior and safe behavior.